We owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. We will. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. That is a spoiler-free look at this weekend's box office juggernaut, Avengers Endgame. Some theaters across the country have been playing the movie 24 hours a day to keep up with demand. Endgame is the 22nd release in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and already, in just its first few days, it has joined Marvel's billion-dollar box office club. Returning to the all-star team of superheroes that includes the likes of Iron Man, Captain Marvel, The Incredible Hulk, Thor, Captain America, and Ant-Man is Hawkeye, one of the original six Avengers, played again by Academy Award nominee Jeremy Renner. When Jeremy and I got together this week for a Sunday sit-down, he was contractually sworn to secrecy about details ahead of the release of the wildly anticipated movie. But I tried. For a guy out promoting a movie, Jeremy Renner sure didn't have much to say about it. And I know you're going to say it as a bow and arrow. He's got a bow and arrow. Thank you. I'm going to react you on that answer. <laughs> I'm not taking that answer. He's got a new haircut. But <laughs> he's got a new haircut. That's right. And he's got a bow and arrow. Okay, that's very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> um, it's, uh, I, it, I, I wish I could say. It's, it's the, yeah. It, I, I, it's, <laughs> you'll, you'll find out before the opening credits. I can say that. Before the opening credits? Yeah, I can say that. The cast of Avengers Endgame was tight-lipped before the movie's release this weekend. This would be totally awesome. Even while shooting their individual scenes, the actors didn't quite know how the story would play out. Just like that. We were all just as surprised after seeing the movie. We were watching it as fans. Right. It was really exciting. We just can't believe we're in this. Endgame marks Renner's fifth appearance in a Marvel movie as Hawkeye. There's two things that, that I take away from it. It's my friendships of the original six Avengers, and that will last eternally. But then there's specifically for me that the character playing a superhero with no superpowers has also has been so awesome because that's what I get to ultimately tell kids that they're also a superhero because you don't have to have a hammer and fly around and have lightning. Right. You can just have, have a strong will and a strong mind and a strong heart and, and fortitude and persistence to achieve whatever you want in life. It's a lesson he's also teaching his young daughter, Ava. Now at six years old, does she have a sense for what you do oh, for a living? Yeah. She see the I billboards know. and all she that? Does. She's been on sets, but I don't think she understands, because she hasn't seen any movies that I do. They're right. not really, you know, right. kid appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> she's seen, I'm on her pajamas as Hawkeye, right? Wow, that's huge. So she knows that I have a bow and arrow. And how does she process uh, that? There's daddy in that costume I, know, I saw I don't know, I just like I'm on her pajamas. Long before Jeremy Renner became a pajama-worthy superhero, or even an actor at all, he was a musician. I was like 12, I started on drums, and then we had, you know, garage bands growing up, you know, in the yeah. 80s, and, and it kept me out of trouble. I was never, you know, taught or trained in any of those things. I just wanted to be able to compose and write a song. So is it fair to say that music is your first love? Was that the, f did you start with that artistically? Yeah. When the moon sets in How do you describe your sound to people who haven't heard you before? I think it's uh, cinematic, it's, it's emotional, it's thoughtful. The world is about to hear more of that music. Renner scored the soundtrack for the upcoming animated film, Arctic Justice. Writing songs keeps the busy actor close to his daughter. I get to play at home uh, as an artist with my baby at home versus you know, doing a movie usually takes me far away for, for long periods of time. And then also I get to do something that I've always loved to do since I was a kid. Renner grew up in Modesto, California, the eldest of six children in a blended family that ran the local bowling alley. Mostly I grew up with, with some really badass women and they made me uh, the badass man that I am. It was awesome, man. it was awesome. It was a lot of freedom in a, in a small town. After high school, Renner enrolled at Modesto Junior College to study computer science. While he was there, he signed up for an elective drama course. The only thing I knew about acting as like a thing was like oh, Michael J. Fox and mm. Family Ties and like Kirk Cameron and Growing Pains. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, those guys are funny and cool, let me try that. 
Renner left behind computers for the stage. And in 1993, he moved to Los Angeles to pursue acting. I gave myself 11 years, I don't know why 11, but 11 years to, to be, for three things, to be in a movie, to be in a movie that was large enough that it would play my small hometown, Modesto, and to be in a role that was large enough that I didn't have to tell my parents, which, you know, I'm a guy in the red shirt waving <laughs> in the background. Pop quiz. Just two years in, he checked all those boxes, making his film debut as an underachieving high school student in National Lampoon's senior trip. Want to cut and go to a party? But the movie was not the career launch pad Renner hoped it would be. For years, he took small roles and worked as a makeup artist to make ends meet. I had a job at Longcom Cosmetics. I went, mean, awesome. How do you hang in, hang in in those six years when you're not getting the jobs you want, maybe not making enough look, money yeah, the way you want? Look, I was living by candlelight for many years, and you know, you don't have electricity, you're eating on five dollars a month. I didn't know times where I might even been depressed and say, God, this sucks. But there's never a moment like I'm going home hmm. or giving up. What's in those bags? In 2002, Renner was cast as real life serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. His performance impressed critics and Academy Award winning director Catherine Bigelow. Interesting. Bigelow cast Renner in The Hurt Locker as an army bomb disposal expert in the Iraq War. The film won six Oscars and Renner was nominated for Best Actor. What did Hurt Locker do to your life and your career, being nominated for the Best Actor Oscar and all that, and yeah. people saw you as a leading man at that point. Yeah, that, that was a, a huge, huge milestone for me in my life uh, as a man, for me uh, as an actor. I, I want to say it's a big shift, but I was prepared, you know, preparing all my life uh, for moments like that. Feds have a year later, idea. Renner was nominated again. This time for Best Supporting Actor in the Town, where he starred with Ben Affleck as a hot-headed Boston bank robber. Now you don't go to thank me, but you're not walking away. From there, Renner entered the Marvel Universe, appearing in the next four superhero movies. Let me see if I can put it in he then starred with Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Played the new lead character in The Bourne Legacy, you tell me and a corrupt New Jersey mayor in American Hustle. You made me go back to the plaza to take that money. After a long conversation about Jeremy's life and career, I thought I might catch him with his guard down. Last question before I let you go. What happens at the end of the end game? There's end credits. God, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Gave up nothing. Avengers Endgame is in theaters now, but you've probably seen it already twice. By the way, there are reports this week that Hawkeye is getting his own series to air on Disney's upcoming streaming service with Renner set to star. No comment, though, from Jeremy. You know about the acting, you heard about the music, but Jeremy has another talent that has turned into a successful business and maybe an HGTV-style show. Check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday to hear more. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Jeremy Renner for all you Avengers fans. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours.